Okay, before we start this video, let me start by picking at least four people who are going to have one-on-one -on -one sessions with me. If you commented on the previous video and you liked on the previous video, you stand a chance to have a one-on-one. -on -one. So I've already dialed the link for that video. So I'm just going to click. Uh, let's see. We need to refresh that. Okay, get comments. Okay, let's go. Start. That's the first person, Lionel Nkuna. Second person, let's go. Oyama, let's go. Next person. Zinzi. Zinzi actually had a one on one with me. So this will be the second time. Okay, Zinzi. Uh, Bradford. Okay, let's go. So these are the four people that. Uh, I'm going to have a one on one session with me. All you got to do is reply to the same comment. If this was your comment, reply to the comment with the last four digits of your WhatsApp number, then send me a WhatsApp. Last four digits of your WhatsApp number and send me a WhatsApp. That's the only way I can know that it's you. Unless if you have the same digits, last four digits as someone else, then that's going to be uh, something else. Okay, all right, okay, sure. Let's look at the charts now. Yeah. So, this particular guy is back to the upside on that extreme high, as you can see, it's up, 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 up there. And in case of that, you're most likely to get your W's like that, okay, your W's like that. But if you're more of a seller, at least try to understand that there's a a, a, a trend that the trend traders watched the previous video that are riding particularly on h1 h4 these are the main structure that's structures that we're most likely to see but i'm very confident that this guy is gonna sell a little bit before it starts it actually starts buying okay as much as we're in an uptrend it needs to sell a little bit so that it can collect more buyers we are up there on that resistance so if it can sell at least down to this point before it buys that will be a very nice one. But we need to understand and also check where these buyers are. I do not like the H1 buyers. I can see that they're very tight. They're not too far away from that. And also price is high. I need you to understand two things. Price is high. And these buyers are also high as well. Does that make sense to you? Do we buy high or we buy low? We buy low, right? But these buyers are not too far away from the high. So that is why I'm ruling out the h1 bias i rather go for h4 bias therefore it will be very nice if this thing can actually go down to let's say write it to this is the h1 bias not too far away from the eye rather go to the h4 bias as you can see the h4 bias are a little bit lower but we need to see price coming down at least down somewhere there even on this particular region it's fine then that's where we can start buying again from, okay? Because down up here on the H1 bias, we're still pretty much high and we don't wanna buy high, we wanna buy low. So it's direct, it's straightforward, nothing hectic, nothing difficult, nothing, nothing major. It's just a straightforward thing. So once more, uh, let me see, maybe I should uh, choose two more people um, to participate on the one-on-one. -on -one. Let me just pick another one. Let's see, hopefully we are lucky. Rollands, this is my former student. You can go ahead and send me a WhatsApp. Let's pick another one, the last one. Sibusi so beki, chabangu. Go ahead and send me a WhatsApp. So if you wanna be part of those guys, just make sure that you drop a comment on this video and like this video, make sure that you're subscribed as well. So this is what I'm willing to do with Nas more of a buyer than a seller so i'm willing to buy this h4 structure so let me just give you the price label of where we could possibly buy okay somewhere maybe around that point after it have sold so once this you can see that this is taking out their dynamic zone there once this thing broke out and the reaches to the downside we're going to buy so for those who want to sell make sure that your stop loss is hidden up there as well but wait for it to pull back a little bit before you can actually sell okay that is why when you see a whole lot of people buying 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 and you get in you find that some 
everyone else had buy everyone have bought actually um the asset you need to wait a bit because that's when it changes the direction this thing was very very bullish and everyone was excited it's now changing the direction but it's not it doesn't actually mean that it's not going to buy again it's going to another buy structure those who are buying the 15 minutes they made money those who are buying h1 they made money but now it could be time for us to buy what h4 even h1 you see H1 still have a chance as well. So if you're an H1 buyer, you could possibly buy to the upside. But if this one is removed, we're most likely to come down a little bit, maybe to this particular one. If we don't get to this, we're gonna get to that one, okay? Just that range. This is where we're most likely to buy. The other one's the H4. The other one is just below the H1. I hope it makes sense, okay? So these two uh, levels there, that's where we're most likely to buy. Once more, if you wanna be part part of the one-on-one -on -one guys just make sure that you drop a comment drop a like share the video as well make sure that you share the video as well to your friends okay this once more it's not a signal signal but an outlook of how i'd like to buy this make sure that you use a stop loss don't listen to people who say don't lose a stop loss the banks zera, 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 all that nonsense the question that i always ask people don't use a stop loss is how much have you made without using a stop loss. How much have you made? I'm not talking about, hey, Vindy, the last day I made 100,000, then I blew it. No, we don't wanna hear those stories. How much profitably have you made without using a stop loss? Okay, you will have to answer that question. I don't know to who, but you can answer it. If you have made money, say it. If you haven't, say it. Maybe that could be your comment drop it down below then i'm gonna probably pick you on the next video otherwise shep shep